All right, thank you, Nick. And joining us now is Colleen Fabrizi, the executive director of the Gafford District, and Scott Hefner of Shimon Canal Trust Company. And they're here to discuss this year's Glass Fest that will be taking place on May 25th through the 28th. Thank you both for being here. Thanks so, for having us. Let's just get right to it. Tell us about Glass Fest. That's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> We are in our 13th year, and Glass Fest is a celebration of everything that is glass in Corning, New York. The science, the art, the innovation. And it's possible because of sponsors like Shimon Canal, who said, you know, 14 years ago, mm. we want to be a part of this. It's an incredible four days of excellent concerts and, oh gosh, all kinds of fun and free things to do for everybody uh, that wants to enjoy. It, it's been a great partnership from the beginning and what it boils down to is we're helping the community get out, enjoy themselves and have some great activities for the whole family. Yeah. Why do you think it's important that the community come out and, and go to Glass Fest? Well, uh, you know, the past couple of years we went from a full-on Glass Fest experience in 2019 to a virtual experience in 2020. Uh, came out a little bit in 2021 with a hybrid model. Back a little bit last year. This year, it is 100% glass fest. And Britt, you've never experienced it, but we kick it off Thursday night with a glass ribbon cutting that's open to the public at the Museum of Glass. And then they're hosting the community for a 2300 degrees event, which uh, is another cool experience in itself. And then we have our concerts kicking off Friday night with Fuel. And then Saturday night, a new partnership with Civic Music. We're going to have classic albums live on the Rock the Park stage, provided by another great sponsor, Simmons Rockwell. And then we wrap it up on Sunday with uh, a local town, uh, Isaiah Smallwood. So, you know, the stage is going to rock. And then we have our fire and fine art show. We have live glass blowing back in Centerway Square and metal arts demonstrations are going to build a sculpture starting on Saturday through Sunday. I mean, there's just a, little a lot for going on. Right? She hasn't even gotten into the yeah. food, the vendors. The, <laughs> it's going to be, it's gonna be great for the businesses <laughs> on Market Street. Yeah, what, what are you both most looking forward to? Uh, getting back to normal for me, Glassfest was so special. It always has been special, but when the pandemic hit, there was just a little bit that wasn't there. And now that it's all back, I think you're going to see the full community come out and support it. I can't wait to see it. What yeah. about you? I've said for years, it's torn between walking the street and watching the experience unfold on the visitor's face. And, you know, wrapping it all up on Sunday when we do our Memorial Day tribute because absolutely none of this is possible for it not be the sacrifice of way too many people. Mm. So absolutely, I, it's, I can't wait. <laughs> absolutely. I, don't, I think our viewers can't wait either. They're going to have a good time. <laughs> and I thank you both for coming in this morning and waking up and telling us about it. Thank you for thank having you us. Brett. All right. Well, we'll be right back. 